pre-ordered the iPhone 15 Pro. I'm gonna explain to you in this video why. Happy pre-order Friday, everybody. It is the month of September. This is the time where Apple shows their new iPhone. Apple allows you to pre-order their new iPhone and then you get to get <laughs> the new iPhone. I want to explain to you guys what I'm excited about, why I pre-ordered this device, what's my history in terms of smartphone usage. Let's start off with why I pre-ordered the iPhone 15. In no particular order, uh, here are a list of reasons. One of the reasons being is that my previous iPhone got destroyed. Front, back, basically exploded, and not from the battery or nothing like that, but just from impact and it's gone. I've been using a $60, well, I paid $60 for it, Android phone for a little while. And while this phone has been amazing, this phone definitely for the price that I paid, it's no, pro level iPhone or pro level Android phone for that matter. Another reason I pre-ordered is because I usually upgrade every year. So I started at the 11 Pro, that's when I made the switch back to Apple. Before that, I was all the way in the Samsung camp for a while. Then I went to Xperia, but before all that, I was an iPhone 4 user. So iPhone 4, switch to Android, iPhone 11 Pro. Ever since I got the 11 Pro, Whenever a new iPhone came out, I would sell it for anywhere from eight to $900, depending on condition. That's very important. If you take care of your phone, if you put it in a case and use a screen protector, screen protector especially, you get really like top dollar for your device. I don't know if they're buying it and shipping it across the country or if they're buying it for their own use and because it's an iPhone and because it's so reliable that you save 100, 200 bucks by buying it used if it's in good condition. I don't know what the reason is, but they hold their value a lot. Every year, it would only cost me like 100 to 200 bucks for a brand new iPhone. So not only am I getting the newest, the latest and greatest, the better camera improvements for my vlogs, pictures of my kids and stuff like that, you're also getting a brand new manufacturer warranty, which is very important. As long as you don't crack your device, as long as you don't destroy it, if you get screen burning because it's an OLED, if the battery just goes bad, I don't know what which happens. Anything that goes wrong with the phone that's not user abuse, that's pretty good. People pay hundreds of dollars for warranties and to get a brand new one year warranty or is it two year? I think it's one year. To get a brand new warranty from Apple who are absolutely amazing by the way at like taking care of things that go wrong with their devices it's amazing how many people i know that have problems with their phones took it to an apple store and if they couldn't fix the phone give them not a brand new one but like pretty freaking new refurbished devices i think they give as a replacement but wow i've never seen another company do that uh maybe because my friends don't really use products from other companies that often, but in my experience, Apple is pretty freaking good. So having a brand new one year manufacturer warranty is probably worth a hundred bucks on its own every year. <laughs> Another reason that I pre-ordered the device is because I've been using a Google Pixel 5 for the past few weeks now. And while I love the size of this phone, I love how the screen only has one tiny camera hole and it's pretty much symmetrical throughout the rest of the device. I don't know why Google's not doing this for like their newer devices. It makes no sense to me. They did it with the five, but they can't do it for the six, seven, and it looks like the eight's not gonna have symmetrical either. Very weird. It doesn't run apps the smoothest. It doesn't launch anything the smoothest. Like I have trouble loading photos and videos I took in the photos app. That's not really a fun experience, especially when you're used to using a pro level device or really and truthfully any modern phone shouldn't have a problem going through the pictures that you've taken with the device so this phone definitely needs to go especially because the side of the phone opened i'm assuming from the battery swelling it did a very good job i can't sit here and lie i've definitely recorded a few vlogs with it Vlogs would definitely look better on an iPhone or a newer Samsung device, not a three-year-old Pixel device, but hey, it worked. It helped me get through what I needed to do. 
and especially for my poker vlogging channel nobody seemed to notice nobody seemed to care so that's always a plus but yeah i definitely want to get back to iphone and like one of the best reasons is that we're finally getting usb-c usb-c was actually something that made me want to go back to android just to not deal with always looking for my lightning cable because my family have like iphones ipads and whatever and they're constantly stealing my wire you know what wire they never steal my macbook charger you know what charges my pixel that i'm using right now my macbook charger <laughs> it's amazing that it took so long to get here and if we owe the eu credit for this for threatening apple to ban sales if they don't switch to usb thank you whoever caused apple to do this i appreciate it one of the huge huge reasons which i guess it's like come full circle now whenever i would buy headphones or earphones for editing right because you don't want wireless people say why don't you just get airpods or airpod pros or whatever when you're editing when you're playing rhythm music games you cannot have any latency from the device to your ears when you use wireless in the middle it's just not a good experience i've tried hundreds if not thousands of different ways of connecting and trying different packs and it just there's a latency whenever i would buy earphones or headphones to use on my macbook for video editing i'd also want to use them on my iphone and couldn't really do that without a dongle and i always lose those things like it's a, it's a, it's a headache carrying a dongle with you wherever you go and then not being able to just unplug from the computer and then plug into the phone was always like something that bothered me but here we are apple just announced these usb-c headphones which i am buying by the way the usb-c airpod uh ear pods the low light version of the airpods i could just plug them into the bottom of the phone and if i decide to start editing videos or whatever unplug it from the phone plug the usb-c into my macbook i cannot wait to have those headphones on top of all of that they should work in any device that has usb-c so this pixel that i'm using does nintendo switch allow usb-c headphones there is a few cons that i want to mention though the iphone 15 pro not having the better camera that the 15 pro max has is like a huge disappointment for me especially because i thought we like was over that step already they did it they did this a few years back i don't know what phone it was i don't know if it was a 11 pro 12 pro 13 pro but one of them the pro max was better and then for the next year the pro and the pro max were the same and it's been the same for a little while i think to reintroduce this like is so stupid it makes no sense that's apple i guess i did want the base storage to be 256 because it makes no sense to pay a thousand dollars for a device and only get 128 gigs that blow is a little bit lessened now because of having usb-c you could plug a hard drive right into the phone and in the apple camera app you can record to the hard drive which is absolutely phenomenal the phone should have started at 256 now the reason i don't just buy 256 for the extra 100 is because when it's time to sell the phone you're basically getting the same exact price as if you had the base storage and a year from now if i want to sell the 15 pro if i bought the 256 gig i could sell it let's say rough number 850 and if i buy the 128 gig rough number 850 so paying the extra hundred dollars when i'm getting a new phone again probably next year doesn't make too much sense to me because i'm just losing that hundred dollars in the long run especially because i back up all my photos onto hard drives and i don't really download that many like big huge games or anything like that on my phone rarely ever just like wordle which is a browser game but yeah pre-ordered it we got our pre-order confirmation we are in I didn't send it to my house because FedEx and UPS has this weird issue where if it doesn't get delivered to your house and you have to go to the store to pick it up, if you have your ID with you and your ID address doesn't match the address that the product was sent to, it will not give you the product, even though it's your name, even though you control the receipts on your phone and everything, 
they will not give it to you because the address on your ID is different. I just got into Jersey. If I'm moving here permanently, then I'm gonna switch to a New Jersey driver's license. But right now it's just a business trip. So there's no reason for me to get a New Jersey ID, especially because I have Florida license plates on my vehicle. So I basically just ordered it to the store. I'll get to the store early in the morning. I'll pick it up like that which I guess will also be a fun vlog, show how many people are in front of the Apple store and stuff. But yeah, we got the iPhone 15 Pro secured. That will be coming next week. So if you guys wanna see unboxings, reviews, uh, a review from a vlogger's point of view, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys are doing. Are you guys getting an iPhone 15, 15 Pro, 15 Pro Max? Uh, 15 plus i always forget about i really wish they made a just for one year to shock the world make a pro mini <laughs> that would be something thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out stay safe and as always god bless